Hello everybody, today is December 5th and I'm here to continue your three card draw. I'm gonna go ahead and review the first three cards and then we're gonna do extended version. Um, I have been pre-shuffling and pre-selecting the cards before I make the videos just to save you time. So let me know if that works for you. If you don't like it, let me know. We can go back to the old way. Starting out, you ended up with the Ace of Pentacles. I talked about this as an abundance blessing coming from spirit. Something is gonna show up in your energy, whether it be money or something you've been waiting for, something good is showing up. We then get the fool. The fool's all about a leap of faith, not being afraid, just a devil may care. I'm just going to go for it. Um, this is the time to just spread your wings and do that thing. Lastly, we got the two of swords, which is about not making a decision. There's something you need to decide. You know the truth. You've got your swords up in defense. You've got your blindfold on because you're not making a decision. It is time. Once you make the decision, I think that blessing will show up and everything will flow and you'll be able to put out that freeing energy that we talk about with that fool card. Then we got the uh, Five of Swords. Five is about a change in energy. Swords are usually about the truth, communication, and ideas. If you look at this card, one person is doing all the work and the other person is just standing with their hands in their pockets. This is telling me that you need to start asking for help. Don't just try to do everything all by yourself. It's okay to say, hey, I need you to help pick that up or I need you to go buy the cleaner for me or I need you to call that, that um, gardener back and find out his prices. Whatever it might be, don't do it all yourself. It's okay to uh, delegate or ask for help. All right, now we're going to clarify a little more on the cards. This Ace of Pentacles, where I talk about that blessing showing up, we then have the Five of Cups, which is interesting because it's very similar to that Five of Swords. If you look here, there's one person holding all the swords and another person kind of not doing anything. Here we got somebody uh, juggling all those cups and another person kind of just standing there holding two cups. This means, again, it's a very lopsided situation. So I feel like you're just doing too much. That's really the overall energy I'm getting. The cups do represent relationships, love, romance, sometimes fulfillment. So this is just saying that in a relationship, you you are doing too much. You need to fix that balance. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you're not doing enough. The other person's doing a lot. Either way, you'll know what I'm talking about. There is an imbalance going on. Under that fool card where I talk about like anything goes, this is a leap of faith for you. You get the sun. You couldn't get a better card, really. This is saying it's a new beginning. Something really great's coming along. Um, you definitely have more clarity about which way you're going. And I think that this is going to, um, once you take that leap of faith, you are going to see definitely some positive results. You're going to be very happy with the outcome. And again, that may have to do with making that decision. Like I said, you haven't made a decision about something. Maybe you've been mulling something over, but then we get the five of pentacles reverse. Now reverses, I don't read as opposite. I just think that's an important card. So five of pentacles, again, a shift in energy. You now have had one, two, three, five cards. So there's a lot of big change coming your way. I know I've been going through the same thing. Um, pentacles, again, are about abundance, career, finance, sometimes stability in the home. This card tells me that she's got a lot saved up behind her, a lot of experiences, maybe even some actual cash saved up, but she's still sitting there acting like she's poor and she has nothing. You need to appreciate what you already have before you start building on it, okay? Because if you don't pay attention to what you already have and you're not grateful for it and you don't show uh, gratitude, guess what? It will disappear as quickly as it showed up. So, don't sit there acting poor when you already have been doing a lot. You've had a lot of accomplishments. You've also probably saved a little money or you know how to save, right? But this is saying, don't pretend that you're helpless and you don't know what you're doing because you do. Bottom of the deck, then we get the queen of wands. This is not necessarily a male or female. There is no gender in the tarot, but the queen of wands, the wands are about your dreams, hopes, and desires. She's the kind of person that just dreams, is passionate, in touch with her emotions, very creative, knows what she's looking for. And I think that if you can draw on the potential of your creativity, all of these cards will fall into place and make a lot of sense for you. And you're going to see a lot of abundance and happiness. That's why that sun card came out. That's why that pentacles, uh, ace of pentacles. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into some Oracle cards. Starting out with my um, enchanted map deck, we do get magical map shifter number 52. I always love this card because to me, the number 52, 52 weeks in a year. So during this year, you're going to do a lot of transitioning, a lot of changing, a lot of growth. I see that coming for you. That's why it's the magical map shifter. You're going to be manifesting a lot of things. You're going to be even maybe changing your appearance. Definitely people are going to see you in a different light this year. So give yourself this coming year to really expand and grow. Then in my vintage deck, we pick the peace card. I think I even mentioned that to you earlier, maybe. But um, if I didn't, this is just saying you're looking for that, that feeling of settled, that feeling of I'm not moving around, I'm not searching, I'm not looking for something else. It's like you feel centered and grounded. This is something that you should be looking for right now is that peace. Say, is this bringing me peace or is this upsetting me? If it's upsetting you, walk away, finish it up, be done with it, find your peace. All right, then we pulled from the Spirit of the Animals deck. We've got the Black Jaguar, Old Soul. What a beautiful card. Don't you love this? I love these cards. Here's what it says. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. 
Ooh. Uh, focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Yes, yes, yes. I agree with that 100%. That totally says that whole thing in this reading. Lastly, I pulled from my Moonology deck. We got Balanced Spirituality and Practicality, Full Moon in Pisces. All right. So it's saying, yes, definitely listen to your gut, listen to your spirit guides, listen to any of your higher calling, God, whatever you want to call it. But it's also saying be practical. Don't just only go on a whim or what that gut feeling is. Also say, okay, does this make sense? Pretty simple stuff, right? Okay, everybody, you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for your three card draw. Have a wonderful one. Mwah. Fuck awesome. Bye.